Uh, so my name is Jim Stallard, um, my partner here, uh, Usman Alim. Uh, so I am from the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. Uh, I am a statistician. Um, the old joke goes that uh, when I used to tell people what I would do for a living, I could clear a room quicker than an anthrax scare. But now I can perhaps quote, I'm a data scientist, and people just come in droves. So, um, uh, so uh, I'm one of the co-directors of a brand new, uh, brand and shiny uh, data science uh, graduate program. Um, Usman Olim, he's a uh, associate professor in the Department of Computer Science. Uh, and he is also, uh, he's the other co-director of the program. So the, what you're going to see is the result of a process that started approximately a little more than two years ago, uh, where there was uh, two members from my department, two members from the computer science department, and we met in a room and we hashed it out for about three weeks just to define what the concept or what the idea of data science is. So once, we, once the dust settled and we had a common theme, uh, we, designed, uh, we designed a data science minor, and from that data science minor, um, the offspring of that is this graduate program that we're going to uh, give you some information upon. Um, so we have what is called a stackable certificate program. Um, we started out with a, uh, with a uh, four courses uh, in the professional certificate program. Uh, what, that acts as a springboard. Uh, from that springboard, uh, a student in the professional um, data science program uh, springboards into a diploma, diploma piece. There's three specializations in the diploma piece, which you'll see in a moment. Uh, well, you can see them right here. There's a specialization in core data science, a uh, specialization in data analytics. Uh, that's run by our partners uh, in the Haskins School of Business and uh, business analytics, excuse me, and there's a specialization in health data science and biostatistics. That's being run by our colleagues uh, over in the coming School of Medicine. And currently, right now, we're going through the various uh, bureaucratic levels to obtain a, to finish this piece off, to obtain a master's, master's degree, um, one-year master's degree in data science and analytics. Okay. Um, so, I'm sure uh, I don't have to talk too much about this, si this slide. Uh, this just talks about what data science and analytics are, so I know time is precious and we've got things to do. Uh, we all know that um, the scalability of, of, uh, of data is, is much easier to handle now with, uh, with enhanced computability. Um, here's just a slide we took. Um, maybe perhaps we're here for this reason. Um, these are very hard jobs to fill. Uh, there is uh, an ever-increasing demand on data scientists and people that have these data science uh, skill sets um, probably is, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here, probably is comparable to an actuarial scientist in terms of one of, one of the best jobs to have. Okay? So um, this is what our cur the current structure of our program is. Our program started uh, this past fall, fall 2018, uh, with the certificate piece. So there are four courses in the certificate piece. Uh, here's a rough idea of what the courses look like. We're going to talk about them in a little more granularity in a few moments. We have a working with data visualization course. We have an introduction, not necessarily, well, a quick introduction to a statistical analysis course. We have a statistical modeling course. And then we have the big data management course. Once those uh, four courses are finished, then the student can springboard into one of the two current specializations in the diploma piece. So there's the data science specialization piece, and then there's the diploma, the business analytics specialization. Again, that, that is being run by our friends over at the Haskins School of Business. Now, um, you are seeing a missing bubble. Um, there is this third specialization in health data science and biostatistics. That will run starting winter 2020. And again, that's being run by the coming School of Medicine. Okay. Uh, so here is again, um, not again, but here is the learning outcomes uh, as we expressed in our proposal to the uh, province when we got, uh, when we received approval to run this program. Um, so what you see sticking out in red are the nice, uh, not just professional competencies, but technical competencies that we want our students to have uh, when they finish the four courses in the diploma program. Um,
talk a little bit about uh, the, the first course in the certificate, which is Data 601. So that's the, um, uh, the course that uh, students take. So they will take 601 and 602 sort of in tandem uh, in an evening uh, format. Uh, Data 601 is the course I taught last fall, and Data 602 uh, was taught by uh, Jim. Uh, so 601 is about uh, essentially uh, just uh, data wrangling and manipulation and doing some sort of visualization with, with data, really geared towards uh, students who don't have uh, uh, any background in this field. So we're expecting um, uh, very uh, little programming knowledge. There's, so you're supposed to have uh, some programming uh, know-how when you come into this. But uh, beyond that, uh, we will teach you the basic uh, data wrangling skills. So, so uh, Python is the language we're, we're using in, in Data 601. Um, and we teach uh, students uh, how to uh, wrangle data using uh, pandas and uh, libraries like that. Uh, and then uh, build visualizations with uh, structured uh, uh, tabular data um, using uh, uh, libraries like Matplotlib or uh, Bokeh, Plotly, uh, libraries like that. Right? So it's, it's really focused on uh, exploratory data analysis, kind of going through uh, data cleanup and uh, exploring the data, doing visualizations like box plots and scatter plots, uh, even doing some geographic uh, visualization like Coroplex and uh, things of that sort, right? To get get a sense of uh, what's, what's in the data. Yeah. Uh, so I, uh, I'm the instructor of Data 602. Uh, so perhaps, uh, and this is a slide you'll see in a few moments, um, we do require some prerequisites uh, for students, or students have to have some courses, certain courses, in order to take uh, Data 601 and 602. Uh, those prerequisites are they do have to have experience in taking a course in any programming language. Um, you can go back as far as Fortran if you wish, okay? Um, no offense, okay? Uh, I, was, I was there. Um, they do have to have a course in, in inter a introductory course in statistics or probability. Uh, and they do have to have a introductory university uh, level math course, it could be calculus or linear algebra, one or the other of the both. So uh, I think that's, uh, that's appropriate. Uh, in Data 602, um, because we have students from varying backgrounds, we have students with engineering degrees, we have students with business degrees, we have students with uh, geophysics degrees, uh, so there's quite a diversity amongst the students. Uh, so to make sure everybody is starting off on the same level, uh, so I spent about, uh, I spent a bit of time um, refamiliarizing them with probability theory. Uh, then I jump right into, uh, right into some data visualizations. So some of the same data visualizations that Usman um, talked about, but I do it within the R space, so R studio. Um, and then we get into uh, very statistical methods, um, finishing the course off with a little bit of statistical learning. Um, so that, that course encompasses about six weeks of material. And it's pretty intensive. It's, prox it's approximately, the material is equivalent to approximately a, a one and a third uh, undergraduate courses um, in our department. Uh, so after they take this course, so this course finished in mid-October, they move on to take data 603. So in data 603, again, this is approximately equal to one, one and a half undergraduate courses. So the material they are seeing in data 603, again, within the R Studio space, um, they are seeing um, an extension of statistical learning. So they're basically taking a course in regression and taking a course in experimental design, analysis of variance, okay? All right, so the last uh, course in the certificate program is a, a course uh, devoted to, uh, uh, it's called Big Data Management. So this is where students ex are exposed to uh, database concepts in this. So sort of looking at the back end a little bit, so how data is stored in, in databases, how to access this uh, data set so they're exposed to SQL, NoSQL uh, at uh, both desktop scale and then the, the course also introduces uh, the design of uh, larger scale uh, databases. Uh, so some uh, introductory concepts uh, uh, in data mining uh, are introduced uh, and also students are introduced to Hadoop and HDFS, uh, MapReduce and those <coughs> sorts of uh, ideas. So, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's data 604, right? So th this is the, the, the certificate uh, component. So uh, the idea here is that the students who complete this will have a uh, uh, pretty solid uh, understanding of, uh, of the, the data science uh, pipeline, but some of the more advanced techniques, uh, they don't 
get the key until they get to the uh, diploma. Yep. Move on to like severe learning <coughs> outcomes. Excuse me. Uh, which are essentially the same but more at a more advanced level. So they export to more advanced statistical and machine learning techniques. Uh, they uh, uh, they export to uh, parallel and uh, cloud computing uh, uh, concepts. Uh, some more advanced types of visualization, text analysis, things things like that. In the this is in the in the core uh, data science uh, uh, diploma subject. So this is also structured the same way. There's uh, four uh, courses here. Uh, it's it, these courses are. The, the first two, Data 605 and Data 606, just ran in the first six weeks uh, of the term. Data 605 is a, a more advanced course in data visualization where they export to uh, text visualization, graph visualization, and also uh, some exposure to uh, Tableau. Uh, so in, 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 uh, they don't get to see much of that in the, in the, in the physics yet, but they work with Tableau a, a little bit more. Uh, so the, the idea is that they're really uh, well versed with how uh, data is flowing through the pipeline so they can build dashboards uh, and things like that uh, in, in Data 605. Uh, in Data 606, so uh, again, what the students are, uh, are exposed to more, uh, more and deeper uh, statistical inference methods. Uh, we do spend a little bit of time on survey design. Uh, personally, I don't know if you can, uh, I don't know if it's fair that you can truly do, uh, have, a, have a broad view of statistics without doing a little bit of survey design. Uh, so they spend a little bit of time using surveys or creating surveys. Um, they look at different sampling weights, different ways to sample, some post stratification. Uh, they do a little bit of imputation. Uh, so that's that's part of the course. Then there th then uh, then we throw at them some Bayesian some Bayesian analysis, and uh, we throw them at so we throw them some time series. So it's kind of a rounding out of and and I th I think Cindy also does a little bit of survival analysis, survival models. So. It's a real, it's a real rounding out of, of the applied tools uh, that we see in the statistics space. Uh, and data, well, you can talk about data six or seven. It's our machine learning course. Yeah, so six or seven is a course that's running right now, uh, Monday to Wednesdays. Uh, right, yeah, this is the link there on the on the slide. So this is a course devoted to machine learning. So it uh, starts from uh, <coughs> it's a traditional uh, supervised versus unsupervised learning uh, sort of concepts. Uh, they're also exposed uh, to uh, some of the newer uh, techniques uh, like visual computing, random forest, mm -hmm. uh, neural nets, uh, so uh, things of that sort. Uh, but, uh, and, and this is uh, making use of uh, again, Python based uh, libraries. Right? So they're, they're, uh, uh, they, they, they know how to do data mining at this stage. So they can get the data in the appropriate format they want, convert it into features, or com just extract the features, and then apply a machine learning uh, model to the data. So that's what. 607 uh, is, is about. Uh, then the last uh, course is uh, Data 608, uh, which is uh, essentially just scaling things up. So the amalgamation of the concepts they have learned up to this point, but uh, doing computation at, at a uh, larger scale. So the primary tool here is uh, Apache Spark uh, that we're using this term, uh, and uh, they have uh, they, they 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 work with it in uh, in a cloud setting and also in a in a cluster setting in HPC environments. Uh, where they have an, uh, a Spark cluster set up and they can do uh, visualization uh, as well as apply uh, machine learning models to Spark X, uh, XQL and uh, Spark ML. So they, they, they look at exposure to those, uh, those libraries so they can work with data at, at, at large scale. So one of the things, <coughs> excuse me, one of the things that we've tried to do in the structuring of the courses, so as I said a little earlier, we're running our first cohort through the certificate and through the diploma is, um, is we're trying to structure the courses in such a way so that, that you'll notice that we've run them in pairings and we're trying to do them in such a way or we set them up in such a way so, so a student will have one foot in the statistical pool, if you will, and one foot more in the computer science pool. But we hope the pools aren't really, really far apart because that would be kind of difficult. Um, so that's how we've kind of structured the program. Uh, we currently run one, run one cohort um, due to the demands of, uh, of the uh, program uh, or, or the demand for such a program and the interest that we're, that we're hearing about, uh, we probably are going to run two cohorts next, starting next fall, perhaps, perhaps even three. Perhaps even three. Yep. All right, we, uh, we're not going to spend too much time talking about uh, this specialization. Uh, I will invite you to, uh, we, we have a, 
additional information sessions that are devoted to it. So we have uh, two more specializations. There's the business analytics uh, specialization, which we're interested in sort of looking at it uh, more from a, a, a domain uh, of uh, the domain perspective. Right? So it's, it's some of the more uh, business uh, concepts <coughs> applied to, to data. Right? So that's what this uh, specialization is about. It's structured the same way with uh, four uh, courses that uh, were run over the, the term, uh, 6, 11, 6, 13, uh, learning and assessment format, critical analytics, and uh, introductory data analytics, uh, where I think they're uh, using um, R and uh, some uh, software tools uh, that uh, are very focused towards business analytics. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a course on decision analytics and, uh, and some more advanced concepts in, uh, in data analytics. So th those groups uh, are running uh, right now. And these are the these are similar courses, but in the uh, in the health science space, uh, I won't speak too much uh, to these courses because I am not a biostatistician. Um, but but there is a common thread between the health data science and biostatistics um, specialization, the business analytics specialization, and the core data science specialization. In the sense, the learning outcomes are very similar. Uh, it's just learning outcomes using learning outcomes are achieved through using these different vessels, these different uh, these different specializations, different spaces. Uh, okay, so here's the crux of the: uh, What do you need to get in? So, if you're interested, what is the requirements? Well, we require a minimum GPA of 3.0, cumulative GPA of 3.0 in the last two years of a bachelor's degree program for 20 courses, 20 half course equivalents. Um, as I said earlier, we do require a demonstrated competency in either or in each of the following. Uh, so again, some exposure to a course, uh, a programming course, uh, a introductory statistics probability course, and either a calculus one, so a first year calculus course, or a first year linear algebra course, or some colleges and universities have mixes of two. So, so they'll have a course where it's half uh, calculus and half linear algebra. That would probably be the better mix of the two. So. Um, in addition, uh, there is an English requirement, um, and uh, there's the deadline to receive uh, applications April 15th. It's not a hard deadline, we may extend it a bit, um, but uh, we're receiving applications until uh, February, or sorry, April 15th, excuse me, okay? Okay, so this is what, uh, this is what we're currently working, do you want to talk about this one? Because uh, I'm yeah, talking a lot, so. Hard to read, but you'll see the sort of three stages there. That's the stackable format of the uh, proposed uh, uh, master in data science and analytics. So on the far left uh, is the certificate. Uh, in the middle is one of three specializations. So if you complete one of those three, you can get a diploma, right? So there's on the top is the business analytics specialization middle is the data core data science specialization and uh, the bottom there is the health data science which will run in the winter of next year. Uh, once uh, uh, you have finished that then you can move on uh, to uh, the, the master in data science analytics that will involve uh, one uh, integrated topics course um, and uh, an internship. Uh, and if, if you complete that uh, it's, it's also a four month uh, format if once you complete that you uh, graduate with a master in data science analytics. So uh, that's the, uh, 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 it's, uh, once it's approved, uh, we're hoping this will uh, be approved by the government uh, later uh, this year and we'll be able to hopefully admit students uh, for fall. fall of uh, 2020. Yeah, yeah we, we're hoping, uh, fingers and toes crossed, that we can have quick approval by the provincial government, but this will probably go to the provincial government late April and there's probably going to be an election sometime there. So. We're crossing our fingers and toes that if we can get early approval, we'll actually start with, we'll start in uh, fall 19, but a more realistic approach is probably fall 2020. So, uh, what do you want to talk about now? Yep. Uh, we so, got for time? Um, yeah, we just wanted to draw your attention to, uh, if you want more details about any of the specializations, we do have uh, additional information sessions that are coming up uh, this month, so uh, next week. Uh, there is the health data science uh, uh, specialization information session that will be held at the Foothills campus on Tuesday of next week. Uh, there's the business analytics specialization information session on Wednesday. Uh, then uh, the uh, core data science diploma specialization uh, Thursday, March 21st. Uh, that's at the U of C campus. 
And then uh, and April 2nd at the uh, library uh, in downtown, the new uh, Chadu Public Library, we'll have a, a general information session about uh, uh, the, the, the entire program. Right, so uh, these, you do have to register for these, so there is a, the, the link there at the bottom you can go to uh, to register, space is limited. If you want more details about uh, the, the courses, what's exactly gonna be covered in your courses, uh, how it's structured, and uh, more, uh, if you have more detailed questions, please uh, come to one of these uh, meetings. And, and we, do plan, we do plan to have, uh, so for example, the first uh, information session uh, I don't know if I can speak for all of them, but the plan is that all the, all the instructors who are going to teach the courses, uh, the four courses in the uh, health data sciences and, uh, and biostatistics diploma, the four, there will be at least a couple of the instructors. So you can actually have a conversation with the, with the people who you may be taking courses with uh, down the line. That also holds true for the uh, information session on the business analytics specialization. Um, for data science and and the all specializations, I don't know if we're going to get all twelve of us down there, but everybody's kind of pumped to see the new library, so that may happen. That may happen. Okay, so if you have any questions, so general questions, it's probably best to send them to data science at ucalgary.ca. You can always reach out to to me, uh, JB Stal at ucalgary.ca, or uh, if that's not your fancy. You can always. Fire Usman an email. He loves to get emails. He loves it. Okay. And then please, uh, the URL for uh, general frequently asked questions and the application uh, forms, uh, assessments, quick assessments, and all. Uh, you can do that through the uh, through the program uh, website uh, that's down there. You can do that. Okay. Any, Any questions? questions? It's it's uh, six weeks next. So you take the so the courses are coupled in in six weeks. So six weeks, six weeks. So you typically start right to start of September. You're done by mid. You're done the certificate by mid mid December. Then when you go into the diploma again, you start basically the first week of uh, January. You finish second week of April, and then the master's piece when it's done can start in May. Certificates four months. Uh, that that's that's a very good question. I do want to again. I do want to reiterate what, what Us Usman just said. It is a graduate level program, um, so, <coughs> so um, please do not confuse this with, say, a certificate that you may uh, earn through continuing education. The demands are are are, are, are much higher. Uh, so I would say, I mean, what we try to do. We understand people are busy. And what we try to do in these three-hour classes is we try to uh, incorporate the students as much as possible. So there's a lot of experiential learning going on. Uh, so we hope that through that type of pedagogical model uh, that some of the individual study time is, is economized. But I would say, oh, I don't know, for every, for every hour in class, perhaps one and a half hours of individual time. So, and that's going to that's gonna fluctuate depend on, depending on what your skill set is, what your experience is, what you've been exposed to before. But that might be um, an approximate equivalent. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I, as I said, I, I'm not a biostatistician, um, so uh, I do believe that they do do a little bit of bioinformatics in there, but uh, uh, I won't speak for Tyler. Um, he could, if it, 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 the program hasn't uh, started yet, but uh, I believe that so the one of the, one of the courses there is big data in, in health, so they will be doing bioinformatics for.
I mean, if you fire us an email, I can send you a, we can always forward your email, your email off to Tyler. Sorry. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, well, we don't, we don't, because these courses are, are, are customized, uh, we don't have, um, you know, we don't, we don't say here's a textbook that corresponds with the course. Um, uh, we're, I mean, personally, I'm using, uh, I'm using this class, this class notes, our notebooks. Um, there's, there's a couple, I'd say, core books, uh, but there, um, there's one by Hadley Wickham that, that's a good resource book, uh, but he provides it free online, so, um, so in terms of the statistics courses, um, there is no set textbook. Um, it's 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 recommended. We do have a we just started a, a program where we do have approximately ten laptops that uh, for students that don't have access to a laptop or don't have access to a desktop, uh, we do have a laptop loaning loaning program. Um, we're just starting that. Second half of these uh, chapters is essentially uh, like run like a tutorial where you are actually uh, working on with data sets, working on problems. So um, it's good. It's good to have uh, access to a laptop. Most students have their own, but if you don't, then we have this uh, 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 program where you can uh, loan a laptop out. Is all your work available on the free free internet or is it like is it free for all students? Absolutely not. As long as you have the. Thirty-five. Yep. So cohort is thirty-five. Yep. We do have. Uh, well, you, you set up the the data first. Yeah, there's a. Uh, we have uh, right now. It's uh, it's mostly open data, but we are talking to the industry companies uh, to give us access to the, the data set. Uh, so this is sort of uh, we're, we're building that. Platform. There's 30 students, five students currently that we have to work through. Uh, not just in the program, but the university has to be involved uh, in this. So we're hoping that uh, uh, when when the fall uh, cohort comes in, we will have uh, not just open data sets, but additional uh, data sets that we have uh, gotten from uh, from local companies to 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 work with. Yeah. We are currently in the in the process of uh, of looking to hire or wanting to hire an internship coordinator. So uh, one of the, one of the pieces that we're currently working on is building relationships with with companies, both private and public. Uh, so what we hope to have is a is a is an internship uh, program in place. So um, we're not necessarily downloading. You find the internship on the students. We hope to have a set program available so we can match up companies with, with the students. Okay, I think we should probably have this guy run away now. Yeah, I've got to run, so you got my email.